Hi, this is CS Trades uh, 101 with Cameron Simpson today. Um, I'm not a financial advisor or a stockbroker. I'm covering ticker symbols TD, CIBC, BMO, and RBC, and Scotia Bank. What we're today covering today is some banks up in Canada, and um, they are actually uh, hot stocks right now. Like they're uh, going up pretty good. Um, I do have some shares in TD and um, CIBC. Um, I bought when it was uh, down lower. Things are going up, plus they play a dividend. So we're going to get into that. Let's have a look. Okay, so we'll start off with BMO. It's a Bank of Montreal. Ticker symbol BMO. We were at $114.89 today. That's what the closing was. And we were up positive plus. 0.47 okay let's have a look here um, got her in the one minute I'm just gonna go back today and just have a look at what we got going on yeah nice nice day nice day so what happens is uh, we got a little bit of consolidation here coming up building enough momentum to come back up here we got about a 3,000 uh, shares to push this up between the compared with 1,600 to 3,000 shares, 40, 45,000 shares didn't have to push this up. We had a bit of a sell-off right here. Coming along here, we had a little bit of more consolidation up all throughout the day. And it looks like that we had a bit of a wow here, forming it almost in W, a little bit shy. We had this push up here, a little bit of sell-off up, more buying power than selling. And then all of a sudden we had this big push more consolidation here, a little bit up here with this down movement right here. Lost of loss and sold of 2,730 shares, which drove it down. More consolidation brought it up. We uh, gained another five to six thousand shares, which brought it up. Consolidating, which drove it up even more. Testing out this is resistance line, $114.84 at 89 cents at closing. So let's check this. <clears throat> oh wow, we're just testing that line of resistance. That line of resistance is exactly at, we're so close, we're so close there. It's at uh, 1492, 14.92. Our second line of resistance, what we're gonna have to test up here is at the 14 or $15.47. I can see that happening by maybe Tuesday. So let's jump on to some VWAP here. Wow, okay, yeah, she's coming up. That's the volume was back. Uh, let's have a look here. Let's go back in the days here. I just want to check something out here. Let's put that back on. There we go. Let's see what the volume was way back here. Just want to see something. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Bring that all the way back to here again. We won't do that again. What was this stock? See, it was up at 114. Yeah, I just wanted to check something there. Okay, wow. Let's have a look. We'll go back right to the beginning. I wish there's an easier way to go back here. I wish there was an easier way. But she's holding, I just wanted to check to see what it's holding about. It goes up and down. Um, she's on a, a really good tear right now, actually. Um, I'm, I'm very satisfied with this stock. Um, yeah, it, it is definitely a buy. And the dividend, it's paying um, dividend yield of 3.69%. That's awesome. That's awesome. So you get that on, I think it's every quarterly on this one. Quarterly or half. Okay, we're going to jump into ticker symbol RY, Royal Bank. Okay, it's going to take these off, off you here. Okay, so we're going to bring this up a bit here for you guys. Um, what we're doing is uh, it's at $24.38, up 0.12% in the green. Look at this. Look at these banks. They're just, they're just going up good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Um, let's put this down a little bit here. Okay. So let's, uh, let's check this out right here. Okay. We had this big sell-off. That would have been uh, yeah, beginning of March. And then there's a little bit of recovery in the economy with all the COVID shots coming out and stuff. So that's what's happening here. We had the sell-off of uh, 160,000 shares, 
another hundred thousand shares another hundred thousand share the 400 half a million shares dropped it down we had some build up here throughout uh, um, after the good news of covid coming up we had 100 and 300 shares 100,000 shares drove it up we had a little bit of sell-off here which testing these line of resistance at um, $17 we broke that line of resistance let's see this wick here the wick was at $18 come on baby $18.26 we hit that line of resistance we could not hold it it drove it back down on the sell-off here we test started testing that red line of resistance didn't make it enough we only hit $17.99.96 we broke free here, breaking that line resistance on an upward swing at $19.05, consolidated for a while, a little bit of a sell-off, another push of 194 or 94,000 shares, drove it up, and we see this upward movement, consolidating right here, testing a new line of resistance at $21.01, brought it all the way up throughout the day, um, up to here, and at leaving at $24.76 testing the line resistance could not hold that line of resistance drove it down I think it's going to consolidate in the morning a little bit we're on a positive right now so um, let's keep it that way okay let's jump into CIBC ticker symbol CM which this is the containing Canadian Imperial Bank of Commerce okay wow tongue twister so these shares are um, $123.91 per stock share. It's in the negative of zero or 0.03% today. It's usually in the green. Um, very, very, these, these they're pretty much comparable. Like, look at this. This is the economy, right? Like, look at this little bit of sell off here. I'm just going to put this on the one minute. Okay. Um, actually, I'm going to bump this to the five a little bit. There you go. That's better. That's better. Okay, so what we did, we had a bit of a sell-off here early in the morning. Um, there was some news that came out in the economy about the COVID shots and stuff, drove this price up. We got some consolidation right here. Um, the news hit, and it just started going. Gained, uh, what is it, 4,000 shares right there. Um, another 7,000, couple thousand, 100,000 shares, brought it up to here. We tested this line of resistance here, broke the line of resistance, brought it up to $123. We should be, pa yeah, we're above par. I was just going to say par. Um, par it tested the resistance of 124.15 today was the highest and it it opened and that it yeah and the high is the same and the low it bounced around so it closed pretty much the same today uh, the line resistance we're going to have to break in the next couple days to bring it up higher is 24 dollars right here 24 i'm just going to bring that up that's not what it's saying on there 24 dollars point three zero thirty cents Okay, I just want to go back here a bit, take this pivot point off. I just want to check the VWAP. It should be yes, we're, we are above the VWAP. Perfect. See this trend line? That is awesome. That's what you want to see. That's an upward trend. Um, I, I see that it's going to come up and consolidate a bit. And it's going to climb further. Let's go back here. Okay, what? Uh, that was uh, the ninth. Okay, so a couple days ago, we had a little bit of a sell-off here. Nothing to worry about. Nothing to worry about. Um, there's a W forming here after a W there's usually a push that looks like uh, a little bit of a cup and a, t a handle here okay let's jump on to the next one here did we cover them all we covered them all we did TD Royal CIBC BMO did we cover we didn't cover this one. Oh, we didn't cover TD sorry guys Okay, so TD Bank, Toronto Dominion, okay? Um, just gonna take out the VWAP for now. Okay, so this is what I own some money in. This is the, I like this one, right? It's uh, it's it's not it's not bad. It, it fluctuates throughout the day, but not that bad. Okay, so let's go back at the beginning here. <clears throat> Nine, uh, this is uh, pretty much what it, uh, what it uh, the open was today. Or yeah, yeah, because beginning of the day. So, what happened today, we were testing a resistance line um, 82.82. It was testing that line. It could not hold. It got drilled back. There's a little bit of sell-off, a little bit of consolidation here. And the consolidation is a good thing because if you if, if these stocks go up, 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 it's, it, I, I stay away from them. It's, it's too scary, right? You want sell-off. You want, you want movement in the market, okay? Some sell-off here, just not too much. Um, a little bit of consolidation here. I think that's around the same time as that news came out. 
um, about the COVID and all these uh, vaccines coming out in Canada, which drove up the price throughout the day. We had a little bit of sell-off um, in the after, just before lunch. After lunch, people were coming back probably after eating, talking about lunch, talking about stock share, bank stuff. It's a little bit of sell-off. Some people had a negative reaction on that, a little bit of consolidation here. The better people took over. Some people bought some more shares. We see a little bit of a cup forming here with a little bit of a handle, which always means it'll drive it up into the next level. We are testing out levels of $82.00. 89 cents right here it held that line of resistance at till closing and we closed at 0 0.24 in the positive okay guys uh we're at the end of this podcast here and thank you very much for uh subscribing and um giving me the thumbs up i appreciate that it goes a long ways to help our videos get out there and help other fellow canadians and americans to get in the stock market in a safe manner and being educated so if you want to use my broker down below you could use uh, wealthsimple um, dot com it's a it's a trading platform you just put a uh, hundred dollars in there minimal and you can make yourself ten dollars Canadian and you can use that for tr for uh, buying stocks um, stock shares or you can use that and just save it in the account and um, there's down a code down below for a referral or at the end of the video and you can check out my Twitter and um, my Facebook account is at the end. And thank you, everybody. You have an awesome, safe day.